Welcome back. Make sure you subscribe and share. I am your host, Darnell Jackson. In this crypto report, we're going to be talking about, before I get to the agenda, make sure you subscribe to the channel and share it like fire is on your hair. In today's report, we're going to be talking about the big news announced from Michael Saylor's micro strategies where he's talking about taking a loan to buy Bitcoin. Micro strategy announces proposed private offering of 400 million of senior secured notes to acquire additional Bitcoin. Now, without getting into the weeds on the differences of these notes, at the end of the day, it's corporate debt that the company will be responsible for and they are saying right away that they're going to buy bitcoin with it now before we go into this michael seller has been right now under the hot button a lot of people on the internet are starting to target michael seller with his uh with some of his extreme to say the least bullish ideas about Bitcoin. Let's take a look at how the internet has been reacting to Michael Saylor in his own words. The best crypto asset. Okay. What's the second best? There is no second best. There is no second best crypto asset. There's a crypto asset. It's called Bitcoin, right? Right? There is no second best, okay? But take all your money, buy Bitcoin, then take all your time, figure out how to borrow more money to buy more Bitcoin, then take all your time and figure out what you can sell to buy Bitcoin. Shout out to, and if shout you out to Ivan love the thing that on his, uh, y'all subscribe to, to his YouTube it, channel. Go mortgage your house and buy Bitcoin with it. And if you've got a business that you love because your family works for the business that's in your family uh -huh. for 37 years and you can't bear to sell it, mortgage it, finance it and convert the proceeds into the hardest money on earth which is bitcoin okay a lot of people could not get with michael saylor on that uh they could not follow him down that road because it seemed really illogical to talk about taking a mortgage out on your home to buy bitcoin but this is the kind of this is the way michael saylor talks i mean he is speaking about bitcoin being invincible and you really have a tough time understanding why. What I want to do in this video is explain to you why he has such confidence. In a little bit, of, in, a, in about five minutes of research, I was able to figure out why he is so, why he is so bullish the way he is. Let's let's look at MicroStrategy really quick. If you're not familiar with the company. Uh, they're a company that's traded on NASDAQ under the ticker MSTR. They were founded in 1989. So it's a very mature business. The founder is Michael Sellier and they are located in Virginia. All right. Now, just a couple things on their numbers. Their revenue, about, about half a billion their net income has been down and uh, looks like their total assets are about one point almost one and a half billion so you can use this as a point of reference when you hear Michael Seller talk about how he, how they're investing and, and how he's utilizing the assets uh, just utilizing his assets so let's take a look a little bit more into what Michael Seller is talking about doing here. When you take a look, you'll see that Michael Seller can afford he can afford to be that bullish once you realize what he's paid for his Bitcoin. How much does MicroStrategy hold in Bitcoin? How much Bitcoin does MicroStrategy hold? Just a simple query. And Market Watch reports that the company said it now holds about 91,850 bitcoins purchased for 2.2 billion 
at an average price of $24,400 per Bitcoin. So we may have all had a bad um, perspective on how much he had paid. We heard that he purchased Bitcoin when the price was about 50. So I think a lot of people assumed he paid about 50 for his Bitcoin. We're finding out now he's his average price per Bitcoin is 24 grand. Well, when your average price is 24 grand, you're going to have a hard time. Let's let's see uh, let's see what the current Bitcoin price is right now. The current Bitcoin price is 35,000. So he is still going to be able to get a, a pretty good deal and we don't know that he may wait until a dip before he buys after he gets that loan. So he's got 400 million out there and he's probably gonna wait for a crash if he doesn't short the market himself in order to benefit even on the market going down. So I just wanted to share with you really quick some analysis and some news. What is your response to Michael Saylor doubling down again with another 400 million does that make you more or less likely to follow him with your 400 dollar investment or maybe your 4000 or maybe your 400 thousand dollar investment or maybe you got 4 million to put in post in the comments if you're going to follow Michael Seller um, I think he actually has every reason to sound the way he sounds I will admit he does sound like a crazy person but when you realize he's only paid 24,000 for his Bitcoin, then you realize that uh, he probably, he can pretty much afford to sound that way. Thank you for checking out this report. Make sure you subscribe, Darnell Jackson Crypto. Until the next time, peace.